Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Middle High School, and this is a video on pH calculations. Um, once again, we did this in class already. We have a quiz coming up on Monday, so here we go. Um, the most obvious thing in terms of pH calculations is that you must know the formulas. If you don't know the formulas, you're not going to know which one to use in a particular situation. Life's going to be miserable. Okay, now once you know the formulas, choose the one that gets you to the answer the most easily. Um, don't choose something that can you have to use three steps when you could have used just one step. Um, always have your calculators, folks. Um, I know it sounds, sounds kind of weird, but there are folks who sit there doing a pH calculation with negative log and they don't have the calculator. Use your reference table. Why? Because it helps you know acid from base. And why do you need to know acid from base? Because bases produce hydroxide Acids produce H plus or H3 or plus for us. So that's a very important um, distinction we need to know. And always ask yourself, does my answer make sense? If my pH is 325.3, maybe I did something wrong. You would check your calculations. And we have to also remember, guys, that H3 or plus, the hydronium ion, for our purposes, is equivalent to H plus. So acids, for our purposes, produce H3O plus or H plus. Okay. Now, once again, guys, we talked about this already. Um, if something is alkaline or basic, we know that the ion which is dominating in terms of balance is the OH minus ion. Okay. Hydroxide is more. All right. And if your solution is acidic, okay, we know from experience that the H plus or the H three O plus ion is dominating in terms of the balance. It's more favored. Okay, you have more H plus in solution, and your solution has, would have a pH below seven, and our scales from zero to fourteen. Okay, moving on. Now we had, I think, a similar chart in our textbooks. So here we go with the formulas. Now find the way to memorize the formulas that you are comfortable with, guys. Okay, it doesn't matter what way you memorize it, but learn them. Now we have our classic H plus right here, right? And we have OH minus hydroxide ion. And the simplest way to find either one of those guys, if you don't know the other, is to use the K. W expression. Uh, what's a KW expression? It simply says that H plus times OH minus is equal to that number I asked you guys to memorize, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So if you know either the H plus or the OH minus, you can find the other guy. Okay, now moving on. We have H and we have pH. Now, between those guys, we have another classic formula. We have pH is equal to negative log of H plus or H3O plus. So, once again, if you know the hydronium ion concentration, you can calculate the pH. All right? And we said in class, the flip side of that is also in your textbooks, that if you know the pH and you want to find H plus, you can use this guy right here, that H plus is equal to 10 to the negative pH. Okay, so this is right here, all right, that bit of information. Now, the th nice thing is, guys, in terms of OH minus and POH, what we just did here for H plus is absolutely equivalent for the OH minus ion. You just replace H plus by OH minus, you can do the same things for these guys right here. All right, and lastly... Um, between pH and pOH, you simply use this formula that says your if you have the pH and you add pOH to it, all right, they should add up to 14. So if you know one of these guys, you can determine the other one based on the fact that they, they always should add up to 14. Okay, let's move on. We have an aqueous solution right here of barium hydroxide. It has a concentration of 3.3 times 10 to negative 10 molarity, big M. Find those guys. Find H plus, OH minus, pH, and pOH. Typical quiz question. Now what you're going to do, you're going to pause the video really quick, and uh, we'll see how we do later on. Okay, 
Um, I chose this problem because we have barium hydroxide. Now, once again, we have to go back to Chem 1 and the crisscross method. Barium, we look at our reference tables, is in group 2. It um, has a 2 plus charge. So when we write the formula, we're going to get BAOH parentheses 2. Okay? It just so happens to be a strong acid. So we know from, from our discussion in class, it's going to produce almost 100% of... Ba two plus ions in aqueous solution plus be careful two OH minuses. So we have two negatives for every two positives. Okay, so the equation is balanced there. Now, once we know that equation, we see that we have a one to one to two ratio. Okay, so it's important that we stress that we have a one to one to two ratio. All right. Now, if our barium hydroxide is this concentration, right? 3.3, okay, times 10 to the negative 10, big M. What would the barium concentration be? It will be also 3.3 times 10 to the negative 10. We're just putting out there for formality because we're really not interested in barium. But we're interested in the hydroxide. Now, since it's a 1 to 1 to 2 ratio, okay, our OH concentration would be 6.6, .6, okay, 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 10, okay, and that's one of our answers, guys, okay, we just found our OH minus concentration, it's 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 10. Now, once we know one of these guys, we can go in a number of directions, all right, um, what's the simplest thing we can find? We can find pOH, for example. So pOH, right, which is equal to negative log of OH minus, will be equal to negative log of 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 10. Okay, and when you take that, um, you take that negative log of that guy right there, you should get something around 9.6. 1, 8, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so that will be our pOH. All right, so what we just did, we calculated our OH minus. We got our pOH from that, taking a negative log of that. We move on. If you know, if you know um, your OH minus, you can determine H plus. Okay, and how do you do that? We use the KW expression. We simply say H plus... All right, is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by what? Divided by 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 10. Where did I get 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 10 from? That's our guy right here. That's our OH minus concentration, okay? And when we do that division, right, we should get around... 1.5, 1, 1.5 to around, okay, times 10 to the negative 5 for our H plus concentration. So once again, we have our H plus concentration right here, okay, it's so 1.5, 1 approximately times 10 to the negative 5. We have our OH minus concentration right here, okay, and over here we have our POH, okay. And we have to find one more guy. So let's flip to the next page. All right, we have to find one more guy, and that's our pH. And another simple way you can do that, you can take the negative log of H+, plus, or you can simply say pH plus pOH equals to 14. Either way, you should get the right answer. I'm going to flip back here. I see that my pOH is 9.18, so I'm going to use that, all right? So 9.18 is my pOH, so my pH will be equal to 14, subtract 9.18, and if I'm not mistaken, my pH is 4.82, okay? 
you can do this check, guys. You can take the negative log of H plus concentration, which was, um, let me see, 1.51 times 10 to the negative 5, and see if you get that 4.82 as your answer. So once again, once you know the um, equations, you have a multiple... Um, you have multiple choices in terms of which you can choose to do the calculations. On the quiz on Monday, you'll be calculating pH, pOH, H+, and OH-. As always, I hope this video was a help. Hard work plus sacrifice equals success, so please study, 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 and do well.